Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 1st through the 8th, first week of July for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so it is what it is, right? Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Leo. I did do your six month forecast. I haven't got a lot of them done but because the energies have been so heavy but if you if you want to look through my videos you can find your six month forecast you do have to purchase part of it so I uh, just thought I'd throw that out there um, oh king of cups reversed temperance reversed and the queen of swords you could be dealing with a Pisces uh, Scorpio or cancer Sagittarius or uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius there's uh, somebody could be in denial here. There could be some regrets. There could be some rejection. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves, be assertive. There's a lack of balance and harmony in a situation. You could be dealing with somebody that is closed off emotionally, moody, up and down. And you need to stand up for yourself, Leo. You do. You need to be assertive in this situation. And really think about this, okay? Because you know, you know. I think that you, you are seeing the situation clearly. But you, you could be in denial, okay? You see the situation clearly, but you're in denial over the situation. That's what this card is, okay? Sometimes we don't want to accept the truth, okay? Whatever that is, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, clinging to the memories. Perhaps you have a lot of good memories with this person. And that doesn't even have to be clinging, because that's that clinging is usually in reverse, but I said that, that those words came out for a reason. Um, things are unbalanced. There lack of there's lack of harmony here with the temperance card. It's like this is the roller coaster ride, up and down, up and down. There's that's what this is. There's extremes. So I think that you're dealing with a person, you know, that does go up and down quite a bit, causes a lot of worry within you, a lot of discontent, a lot of uh, anxiety. And this is resisting change, okay? You're stuck, unable to see things from a new perspective. This is what the hangman is, and this is new perspective as well. New perspective is needed. Both of these cards, somebody's in denial. resisting this change but suffering anyway you're dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable at this time could be a, a water sign I mean water 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 okay this person is not bringing peace and harmony to your life they aren't they aren't There could be an earth sign involved. Somebody that is, is causing problems. This person is um, stubborn. When they want what they want, they don't stop until they get what they want. So I think you have a there's a there's a situation here where there is another person that is being very, very stubborn, hard headed, um, ruthless almost. This person does not give up. And your outcome is the eight of eight of pentacles. This is about uh, hard work pays off. Okay, something uh, skilled. Somebody is very skilled. Could be this person. This person is very skilled in getting whatever they want. There's no doubt about it. So let me get this zoomed in. So other people see. Other people see that you want harmony, you want happiness, you want love. They see that. They see that there's like an innocence about this. You, you're innocent in this situation, whatever the case is. Other people see that, okay? 
um, your challenge is this hey man this is your challenge position right here your challenge is letting go you're unable to accept to your denial your challenge is resisting change I don't want this change even though you know that you need to I know that you know I know that you know you know that you need to whatever this is but this is um, you need to it's gonna be a struggle and you know it's gonna be a struggle I don't want to face this struggle your overall message for this reading is the nine of swords somebody's struggling there's no doubt about it somebody whoever this reading is for it's not gonna be for everybody they're struggling with despair sadness anguish Other people see that you need to you need to move on. You need to make a move. You need to do something. You need to communicate how you really feel. You need to you need to get moving. You need to take action. You need to stop playing games. You need to stop juggling. You need to you're going through some sort of loss with whoever it is that you're dealing with. This is financial loss or some sort of loss period. Trying to do too much. Try try juggling. juggling what you don't need to juggle and it's costing you money there's a lack of balance in your life there's a lack of um, ability to take a next step in some direction because you are so indecisive as well it's like you're unable to make a decision or you've made a wrong decision this is a this is a somebody that has been making some sort of decision that isn't right for them and it's costing them money it's costing them something it's costing them money or it's costing them balance in their life things are chaotic it's causing chaos whatever it is and heartache and you don't want to face it somebody doesn't want to face it this could be causing some sort of financial mess Somebody might have bitten off more than they can chew. You're dealing with somebody that is very secretive. There's secrets and lies here. This person is sneaky and shady. Escapes reality. Or does everything in their power to escape reality. There's something going on behind the scenes. You don't know the whole story. Whatever this is, somebody isn't telling the truth. Whatever this is. It's causing a lot of discontent in your life. I want more. I want more. You know, it's time to give up on a situation. I mean, it is. It's time to stop fighting for something that isn't being seen or isn't being accepted or isn't content the nine of wands reversed is letting go of the fight giving up the fight there's been some sort of injustice here there's been a Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They don't. Somebody's been treated unfairly or there's been an unfair situation. Things have been seriously unbalanced. There's there's no doubt about that. So, there, there's no doubt. There's been a lot of unbalance here. There's, things are not harmonious right now because somebody has been indecisive about making a decision because they don't want to make a change even though they're deceiving themselves, there's self-deceit here, they're lying, somebody is lying, um, definitely, there's some lies here, there's dishonesty, there's untruthfulness, somebody's not telling the truth, there's no doubt about it, and, you know, it's time for you to, to make some sort of decision, which is really heavy, it's a heavy decision, but you don't want to make it, you don't want to make the decision,
Could be a third party situation. I don't know. That but there is. And when I have to clear up third party situation. Third party situation is three's a crowd, whether it's a mother or a sister or a friend or a lover. A third party there's there's three people involved that are causing a little bit of chaos in your life and it's not fair. It's not fair, you don't deserve it. Oh, goodness gracious, we have the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, I'm not sure, but this is, there's lies. The Capricorn doesn't bring any truth. The Capricorn, I'm sorry, the devil. I meant to say devil. I meant, I don't know where that came from. The, uh, the devil doesn't bring anything good. Nothing. It's all lies, manipulation, Lust. Ego. And there's a contract that needs to end. There's, there's too much incompatibility. There's too many arguments. Too much conflict. This is a contract ending. This person isn't well suited for you. I don't know what this is. It's time to step out of this darkness and see the light. Get off of the thin ice. Get off of it. But your fears are holding you back. You have fear. You have fear of taking action. But you're dealing with somebody who is an energy thief and is untrustworthy. But you don't listen to your inner guide at all. Unfortunately, somebody's not. And they're blocking the truth. Blocking their inner guide. Blocking it. I don't believe in myself. Somebody doesn't believe in themselves. They're not. They're not following the path. They're not. In denial. Somebody is in complete denial here. Involved in a one-sided situation. And that is not what you deserve. You could be dealing with somebody that was all talk and no action. Sold you the Golden Gate Bridge. There could be a new offer of love coming in. But you would have to let go. You would have to let go of this whatever it is that you've been holding. This is no longer resisting. Letting go of an obsession. That's what this is. To have the romance of a lifetime or whatever it is. You have to let go of some obsession. This is, I think somebody has come in or had come in and swept you off your feet and it didn't turn to, out to be um, Prince Charming or Princess or whatever you want to call it. I think it's caused a lot of money. It's caused a loss in, in money, whatever this is. Um, definitely loss of money, loss of money, loss of money. Seriously. Big time loss of money here. Loss of finances dealing with this situation. It's like you threw it away. Um, it is. I mean, he's, he's throwing, the money is being thrown, thrown away. Um, love, love, love. There could be a new offer of love with that, that Knight of Cups for some of you. I mean, that's an offer of love, an offer of romance perhaps coming in. Or that could even be just wanting it. That could be wanting romance. Wanting it to work out. That's why you're in denial. But you have somebody else. This is a new this is a new prospect. So I think there's one situation in which somebody is closed off emotionally. They're not telling the truth or being dishonest. Once you realize that and you step out of this darkness and you understand that there is a new prospect or there's new opportunities, there's still an opportunity for two of cups elsewhere, then you'll have then then that'll play out. But you have it will come. But you have to you have to be assertive. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to stop lying to yourself. I whether or deal with the situation whoever's lying to you, there's lies here all over the place. There's dishonesty. Somebody is not being honest and you know it. But you're in denial. 
five of cups reversed it's it's you need to have faith you need to be you need to realize the truth it's for some of you are beginning to realize the truth about this situation this person was wasn't who you thought they were this person typically isn't who you think they are they come in and they they send you these beautiful messages of love but they don't have the follow-through okay um, and you're thinking about walking away and having a new beginning elsewhere. This is a this is a ending that brings new beginnings, and this kind card is too. So I think there's a there's a completion here that needs to start. I just looked on the bottom. <laughs> it takes strength, Leo. Strength and courage to find that force within you to accept the truth of a situation. You have to master your emotions to face your fears. And that's what strength is all about. I do believe that you are involved in a deceptive situation and you know exactly what it is. Let's get you two angel romance cards. This is for Leo. Ooh. Ah, that's a good one. That is so good. That's part of the issue here. That is, children, your love life is being affected by children. This is one of the things that are that is, is causing issues. And I know that people, oh, no, 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 oh, well, that happens, okay? If there's a mixed family, you know, some that's, children are definitely an issue in this situation. Somebody may be staying in the situation that is not so good just for the children uh, or something, or there's a mother of a children that is causing problems I'm not sure what this is um, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together this is honeymoon this is, isn't an actual marriage okay it could be but maybe you just need to take a time out I'm not sure what this is however it resonates with you maybe you guys need to get away to work on this I don't know there's definitely some dishonesty here I'm not sure maybe who knows who knows maybe There's a new opportunity for you. Okay, there is. Endings bring new beginnings. That could lead to some happy times with whoever. So anyway, that's what I have, Leo. Um, I feel as though this is a week of, of struggling, of struggling, uh, needing to be assertive and, and protect yourself and stand up for yourself. You're dealing with somebody that is moody and um, back and forth, back and forth. Um, you're being called to communicate, to take action. Um, perhaps you want to walk away from this person, but you can't because of there's there's children, or you 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 there's codependency issues, or or both. Okay, somebody is in denial here. I don't see any any love other than that Knight of Cups. There's no real love here. The only thing I saw that could possibly be any amount of love was that Knight of Cups, but that Knight of Cups falls short of his promises. So with that said, I think there's an opportunity for a new beginning if once something ends. It takes strength. But whatever, it's up to you. It's all in your hands. You see, there you are. Talk to you later.